Jay Sorensen, Jay, what should people expect today as far as the wind's concerned? Yeah, windy day up ahead, gusts around 30 to 40 miles per hour expected. On the higher end, areas east of Tucson with gusts around 40 to even maybe 45 miles per hour. Meanwhile, here in Tucson, gusts will sit around 25 to 30 miles per hour. So no matter where you're waking up, be sure to secure loose objects just in case you don't want wind damage when you come home later on today. The system is pushing uh, through Arizona throughout the day today. A little bit of moisture will be possible for our state, but this far south, we're staying dry just a little bit of cloud cover from time to time, but we are getting in on that wind. Gusts around 40 to 45 miles per hour again east of Tucson, but it's going to be windy across the board this morning through the afternoon. Impacts remain the same as yesterday. We're expecting some wind damage if you don't secure loose objects, right? Uh, blowing dust, especially in Cochise and Graham County, so just be aware of that, especially between about noon and 2 p.m. Looks like that's when the worst of the wind will be rolling through and maybe even some power outages. So um, if you do lose power, Power, be sure to download our mobile weather app and that way you can stay in the loop. But here is a look at the wind gusts around 9 a.m. this morning. Not bad for most, but we are picking it up to around 40 miles per hour in Bisbee with some isolated spots picking up to maybe 40 to 50, especially for the high terrain. By about noon, gusts around 50 miles per hour for our friends in Bisbee. Most of Cochise County dealing with gusts around 30 miles per hour. Very, very windy for uh, the Sulphur Springs Valley up towards Alfreda and Sunny Zona, so keep that in mind. By the time we work our way towards 3 p.m. The wind will start to back down uh, just around 18 miles per hour here in Tucson. Meanwhile, parts of Cochise County still dealing with gusts around 25 to 35. And then by late tonight, the wind really starts to calm down for your future tracker. A few clouds this morning. We'll see actually a lot of sunshine today, but a few clouds possible later on. Maybe a couple isolated showers um, later on this evening north of Tucson in southeastern Pinal County. But even there, we're really not expecting much. Maybe just one hundredth of an inch in Oracle, but the rest of us zeros across the board. We have a better chance for showers early next week, and we'll take a look at that in a second. But today's forecast low 70s for Metro Tucson, which is where we should actually be this time of year. Yesterday we picked it up to 82. That was well above normal. Mid 60s for Santa Cruz and Cochise County, low 40s for the mountains. So feeling pretty good out there with the exception of the mountains, actually feeling kind of cold. So keep that in mind. Looking ahead towards the weekend, high pressure rebuilds. So if you love the 80s, you'll love this weekend. Low 80s. Saturday and Sunday with a little bit of cloud cover from time to time, but high pressure heads east and this area of low pressure. Our next weather maker heads on shore and through Arizona by next Monday or Tuesday. Confidence is still low on the exact timing and how much we're expecting when it comes to rain or snow. We're still several days away, but this is our next potential storm tracker for alert day this upcoming Tuesday. That's looking like the busiest day for now. Low 80s this weekend. Temperatures drop though as that system rolls through into the 60s next Tuesday. 30 to 40 percent chance for showers at this time. Uh, the low 60 or the 60s, I should say, doesn't stick around for too long, though. Back in the 70s around this time next.